name is Suba Gerwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to teach angles and geometry to third graders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is draw a big circle on the board. And then explain to them that an angle is just a segment of that circle. So like if you had a, piece of, if you had a pizza pie and you were dividing it into pieces. An angle is just a measurement of a piece of this circle. And there are a couple of different kinds of angles. There are straight angles, right angles, acute and obtuse. So we have this circle on the board. First thing we're going to do is draw a line straight across. And that is going to be our straight angle. Because as you can see, it it divides the circle exactly in half. That's how you want to define a straight angle, something that divides it exactly in half. The second angle that you're going to want to go into is a right angle. So, draw another circle. And you can define a right angle as something where the two pieces that make up the angle come down, meet in the center of the circle, and form an L shape. That's a good way for them to remember. Remember, it's shaped like an L, so that would be our right angle. Now, when you're defining an acute angle, it's any angle that's going to give you a piece of this circle that's smaller than that right angle. So, for example, the right angle would have gone straight up like this. So anything smaller than that. You can see this right here is going to be smaller than all of that. This is an acute angle. The last one we're going to do is an obtuse angle. And that's anything that's bigger than that 90, but less than that straight angle. So we don't want it to go all the way around. Here's where our 90 is. So anything bigger than this. So this, for example, would be an obtuse angle. And that's how you would teach angles to third graders. My name is Suba Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.